It's just after dawn, time for Second Harvest's fleet of delivery vehicles to hit the road. We're with Hector Habili, who began driving trucks like this in the mountains of his native Albania. Now he plies the streets of Toronto on a mission to feed the hungry and stop food waste. We do this uh, by picking up uh, fresh products and we deliver to around more than 220 uh, food service uh, agencies. Today the first stop is a community centre in a deprived neighbourhood. Hello, good morning, uh, Sophia, how are you today? I am good. Sophia doesn't believe in wasting food either. When the truck comes, we take as much as we can get. We do at least three meals per day. So we have our meal program, so nothing usually goes to waste. Second Harvest began in 1985. Since then, it's picked up and given away more than 50 million kilograms of food that supermarkets and food companies might otherwise have thrown away. That includes plenty of fresh produce, meat, bread, fruit, and dairy. One of the last stops is a soup kitchen downtown, run mostly by volunteers. It's a lifeline for the hundreds who eat here. We have a hot meal program five days a week, so today it started at noon and people, clients can come in and receive a free meal. We had a million pound month. Staff at Second Harvest say demand for what they do is growing. That means more people are going hungry in Toronto, while at the same time, the cost of food waste is getting larger. More than $25 billion last year in Canada. When you waste food, you waste everything, you know that. You're not just wasting the food itself, but you're wasting the farmers who grew it, you're wasting the water that went into it, you're wasting the manufacturing, the packaging, the retail. You waste everything when you throw away food that is good. It's the end of another day here at the Second Harvest Warehouse, and the trucks that have been delivering food all day have also brought plenty back, because tomorrow they'll be out there again feeding the hungry here in Canada's richest city. Daniel Lack, Al Jazeera, Toronto.